Allah. Get some fuel to home before we go to Rogers. Maybe get um get tired on if we need to. Unless it'll be going well. Should be on that one. see what it's like in the morning if it's gone down or won't. What's going on down here? Hey, hey, ma'am. Right down. So we're on our way to Cutwood. Take the ziggy pooch out. My first day off of my holidays, and it's raining. Spitting. Spitting. Everybody in. Not enough to warrant not going out. Ziggy says, I don't know, I'm watching it through the back window. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's debatable at this stage. It's got a big weekend haircut on Saturday. Yeah, I might have my hair cut on Saturday. But the Ziggy haircut on Saturday. Shut the ones. Flopping on. Just flopping. Uh, Sheep's head like they're ready for shearing. That won't look like a camel, it's that like fluffy. That's coming up to Easter, that's when they tend to shear, I think, mean, ready for the spring. Yeah, that's when they start having their lambs. I don't know if you can shear a sheep when it's in lamb. It's a lovely to cut.
There we are at the old, old Fairfold Cutwood. With his little morning trot. Oh, pre afternoon trot, I should say. It's about 11. Pre afternoon poo. I am in a control. Low level angles now. Look at this, guys. These are bluebells. Bluebells starting to come up. There's daffodils along the verges. There's just new life springing everywhere. It's amazing. Like even little new leaves on some of the holly trees. You see on that one. New life is starting. It's a bit of a cloudy day. The only shame we have with here is the road. And beyond those hedges you can just see the daffodils. But yes, it's in for the mister to come back from putting poo in the bin. We've got rid of poo. Got rid of poo now. We've tried to squeeze a bit more out. Come on, you. What are you doing? Got the selfie stick today, so get a bit of a, a different angle. I don't think there's anything left, Baba. So I'll just come out to cut wood in Rishton. Well, it's class as Rishton, just going into Rishton. Up, up on the white bit round about. Myself and Vicky and Ziggy, Ziggy Poochie. He's not his Willie really out, but nothing else is coming up. Catch where he's Willie on YouTube. So, just having a, a little trot through the, the woods at Cutwood. I've got the next rest of this week and next week off so I thought get a few vlogs in while well, we've got the time to go and do some walks and adventures I know you've probably seen Cutwood a few times now but it's always changing it's always changing getting more into spring now there's flowers starting to come up the daffodils are blooming all this will be bluebell in a few months. All this. All this will be bluebells. That won't be a bluebell. That'll be a bluebell. <laughs> so yeah. Hope we have some ghost hunts this week as well for the channel. We're hoping to get back out with Paranormal Proof 666. Definitely. With Fawn and his uh Fawn and his dad. Hopefully get out and do an investigation with them very soon. He has got a, a private location on the cards that he's asked myself, Vicky and Carl to come to with him. So that that's coming up soon for that's gonna be in April at some time. So we'll let you know a bit more about that closer to the time. And uh bluebells baby. That'll be an exclusive location, never done before by any other team. What's he painting? And we've had CCTV, CCTV footage of them, of paranormal activity. We've pulled to guys moving glasses when there's no one in the bar area. So we'll see if we can get a copy of that and show, show you on YouTube of uh, what's to come. It's always good to see... CCTV footage because it's uh, a lot a lot harder for anyone to say that it's fake because it's got all the timings and stuff on the recording so it's uh, we're looking forward to having that that kind of evidence on the channel not that we ever dream of faking everything but you do get some people that assume the worst if only it were that easy, we wouldn't be stood in the cold in the dark for hours on end waiting. <laughs> We'd just go out for 10 minutes and get your full video if that were the case. But 
anyone that knows that watches our channels we're 100% genuine if nothing happens nothing happens you just get a walk around in the pitch black somewhere or you get a little vlog like this walking through the woodlands with Ziggy but not sure what oh we've got a different kind of video tomorrow coming on this channel on the vlog channel we're gonna be having a, a little trip out to Rogers in Stockport we're gonna see what uh Ziggy so yeah as I was saying we're gonna go to Rogers tomorrow because one of the things that I'm sure everyone's struggling with at the moment but ourselves are finding it quite difficult with the cost of food and shopping just general expense, everything's gone up as we're all well aware so we're going to Rogers, it's a discount cash and carry store where they do foods that are going not out of date, well some of them are out of date but so majority shelf of them are clo date. close to the shelf life date not like mouldy so you get them all cheaper so we're going to see what bargains we can pick up and what savings we can make on our monthly shopping look at him going so there'll be a full vlog coming on that tomorrow watch out for that you might find it helpful with current times with struggles for buying food so it'll be a handy little video to watch if you're interested in somewhere to get cheap bargains stop your cupboards a little fella here yeah. Come round. So as you can see, the daffodils are all coming out now. Zeke is coming out. He's out and about. He's hunting for squirrels again. Yeah. Tomorrow's vlog will be an interesting one and a bit different. But we do like to try and keep young at all with different videos. <laughs> we'll see. I'm sure we'll have uh, some adventures next week on my week off. We'll try and get, even if it's just the case of getting Ziggy to some different walks, take him on some little adventures somewhere oh, a bit look different. At that tree, it was just starting to come out. Dead now. Oh, he's pushed that down. Someone's pushed a little tree over. So you can see we're just coming out of the little woodland area. You come down and it's just a circular path past the reservoir. So we just tend to follow that round. But we do, we make so fast. It's, uh, it's a nice easy, easy trot. Come on, this way. Down to the reservoir now. Choppy. Seems to get a bit windier down here, so I apologise if the sound's a bit muffled. Only filming on the phone today. So it does get a bit a bit windier as we get closer to the water. You can see it looks a bit choppy down there, some waves. That tough needing sprinkling. So he's doing his bit to water the gardens. He does like to joining with his agricultural side. It does. Ah. There it is, all coming up with the bloom. Everything's starting to come alive. It is. It's ready for the snow next week. That could be good, was it? Snow at Easter. Yeah. What do you think? Next week's Easter week, Easter weekend next weekend. And apparently it's forecast to snow for two days. Although I'm not sure if we're just out of the boundary, we might get away with it. But the temperatures are certainly going to drop again, which is no good when we're just getting getting used to the slightly warmer temperatures. Getting ready for spring. We're going to have a look at the woods today, Zig. It's like a go out walk. I just, I just have a sniff of these people's pools in the pool bin. Down to the water's edge. See if we can see any. Geese and swans to there. Anyone fishing? 
That's another thing you might see. We might go do some more fishing. We've got our licenses. We're going fishing. We've got our licenses now, so we might go back to fires fish a bit, or we might try somewhere new. There's plenty, plenty of fisheries around here, so. I know it's sometime, probably when it gets a bit warmer. I do want to try going to take Vicky doing a bit of fly fishing. Water's right up. Water right up. Look at this one's closer look. He does like to park away. no. He won't jump in, he's not stupid. He knows damn well it's freezing cold. It's like, it's freezing, Papa, I check. Say, no. So, yeah. This. Or this. <laughs> oh, steady. Your dismount wasn't amazing. It's nearly snapped your back legs off. There he is. <laughs> sit down, sit down for a little rest. And he has to get up on the bench. You can't just sit on the floor like a normal dog, he has to get up on the bench with us. He's not normal dog, he's baby. So kiss my cheesy ears. What, what did you say, Zig? Oh, he's gone. It's carried away and thinks he knows the best route. So it's trotting off. So yeah, thank you to all the new subscribers on the vlog channel. We're now at 60 subscribers. We'll try and keep the content coming. We've got a few channels, as you already know from the mentioning. I'll pop up on the screen now. We've got the My Reactions channel, Vicky's Tarot and Spirit. Gonna be some more videos going on there soon. There'll be more videos on JJ Reactions for Fallout. Big know. update coming. Big update on Fallout 76, so watch out for some new videos on there. On it's JJ Big builds. Reactions. And then we're gonna we've got Haunted Stories and Investigations Extra. Might get some videos on there. There's not been anything on there for a while. And then obviously we've got the main paranormal channel, Haunted Stories and Investigations. Our latest video on there is our TV appearance on TLC YouTube and on the Discovery Channel. We had an episode on there from our capture at Y Collar last year. And you'll also find our, fr our friends Paranormal Penny Pinchers have also got an episode gone on there. But if we get a, if you go on our Haunted Stories and Investigations, group on Facebook, I'll get a link on there to their video as soon as I can. I like to promote our friends and other fellow paranormal investigators. And he's off into the woods to see what he can find. I don't like when he's out of sight if there's food lying on so yeah, another thing we're thinking of doing for the Haunted Stories and Investigations channel is trying something a bit different and trying to do cryptids. some cryptid videos for you. So they'll have a completely different intro, they'll be set aside like a separate season. I'll put them all into their own little playlist and we'll go out and see what local cryptids we can find. Trickle people. And got, well, it might, just ne might not necessarily just be cryptids, it might be a bit of folklore and local myths. And we'll go out and film the locations, give you the stories and see what we can put together. Be quiet. I just thought I'd film a little bit of footage in the car on the way to and from, just so you can see our little journey to and from the walk. 
I'd maybe catch us some idiots. Well, that's it. You never know if you're going to catch us up. Well, if you do know you're going to catch us up around here. There's some nutter drivers around Blackburn. People that have their own highway code, apparently. So you never know what you're going to capture. Actually, the one day there's not a kerfuffle at this roundabout. I know, I was thinking that the way over. I was like, no one's actually cut me up or anything today. There's usually a kerfuffle at this roundabout because of the lanes. Nobody knows what lane they're going in because it's four lanes. And the green marked them all as well. But today... Everyone gets it right lane today. It's miraculous. So no one cares when you want something to happen. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Same as ghost hunting. Uh, never happens when you want it. But as soon as you're not filmed, we know you're not oh, prepared you're going for on. it. You let your guard down for two minutes. And all hell breaks loose. A little... Trot down, so we're gonna head home, get a monster on the way, play a little bit of Fallout. I spotted dinner in a bit. Oh, we might get some activity up here at the, at the two death junctions. Mm, true, true. There's two junctions up here that come out onto this main road and there's been numerous crashes. I think there's been about three in the last two weeks. People come out of the junction and don't give way to the main road. The problem is there's junctions coming from both sides and nobody knows what lane they're in and who has a right of way. And nobody indicates, which isn't helpful. I just think it's a free-for-all that first one to go goes. But this isn't always how it works. I suppose this one technically has five different roads joining. Uh, well, this one here, next to where this Volvo is, there used to be a little traffic island. And they actually dug it up and took it away because they were sick of how many cars hit it. People kept cutting the corner and crashing into it. So instead of leaving it there, they dug it up and flattened it. And now you find that everyone that comes around this corner cuts it really tight because there's no traffic island there anymore. There's literally a little round bit of concrete we're post on. And they got sick of keep putting the post back up. So you can see where they've tarmacked it, where they dug it up. People were cutting the corner and kept knocking it over. Oh, that fan's parked in a very clever place. It is death junction number one. A prime example of why it is. Because there's a van blocking everyone's view coming out of the junction. We got through that one okay to there. And the next one's just next to this for in front of Forrester's pub. All seems okay to there. We've managed that. We've survived. Just coming up to our, our local shop. Tom shop. The, the Toms. We have ourselves a little cheeky monster. Oh my goodness, look how busy it is. You're going in, it's too busy. I'm not going in, you're going in. It's too busy. I'm going to stay here okay. Oh, it's a park for a kickoff. That'll do. So we'll finish this video here. A little vlog of a walk out with Ziggy. Enjoy visit Cutwood. Until the next one, 
stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog going to Rogers and see what bargains we can find and stay safe out there and see you in the next one bye for now